There are so many women that when they got their breast implants or even before they got their breast implants, they were so physically active. They were in shape. They were able to work out and run and do marathons and do CrossFit and work out five to six times a week. And then after they got the breast implants, and especially after they started to experience breast implant illness symptoms, because of the joint pain, the fatigue, the brain fog, the insomnia, the heart palpitations, um, the anxiety, the depression symptoms, you know, all of those things coming in, it really, slowed them down and what ends up happening is a lot of women lose a lot of muscle mass, they lose a lot of strength, they gain a lot of weight and inflammation especially and they're not able to really exert themselves as much as they used to. I was actually one of those women. I competed in a couple fitness competitions and after my last fitness competition in 2014, I had to completely stop because a few months later in 2015, I started to experience all of a sudden, like I never had any of these symptoms before. I started to experience extreme fatigue, brain fog, just like forgetfulness, fogginess, just like a heaviness in my brain and in my thoughts. Like I was slow to think and, you know, remember things. Um, I started to get really bad hip joint pain. So obviously I couldn't do much lower body anymore, like forget cardio and running. Um, I started to lose a lot more hair and because of all this, I started to get anxiety. I started to get like depression bouts, um, gasping for breath. I feel like I'm forgetting something or two, but I started to have all of these symptoms in a very short amount of time. And because of that, I myself had to slow down in the gym because I would get really tired really easy and it would take me out for days. There were just some days where my anxiety and my depression was so bad that I didn't even want to get up to go to the gym. And mind you, I became a personal trainer when I was 25. I started working out when I was like 15 or 16. Fitness and getting in shape and just like working out was my life. It's something that really helped me feel good. And it's something that helped my mental health. And when I wasn't able to do that anymore, you know, it just really took a hit really to my mental health because I'm just like sitting around all day and I'm wishing that I could do more, but I couldn't. I like physically and mentally couldn't. So I am going to share with you in today's video, some things that you can do if you have breast implant illness and you're waiting to explant to help you at least move your body and exercise in a very mindful and intentional yet empowering way. And if you are new to me or new to this channel, hello and welcome. My name is Christina. I'm the founder of Size Happy. I am the admin of the best Facebook group on Facebook, Breast Implant Illness Rejuvenation and Education with Christina. And you can also find me on Instagram at sizehappy underscore underscore. Before I get into the 11 things, I do just want to mention that I firmly believe that when you exercise before explant, like at any capacity, whether it's just walking every day, doing some light workouts, yoga, like anything that's going to strengthen your bones, your joints, your cardiovascular system, and just help you get an overall physical shape, it will make your explant surgery recovery faster and easier, in my opinion. Tip number one is do a little bit of something every single day. It doesn't have to be a lot, doesn't have to be strenuous or intense, but doing just a little bit of something every day is obviously better than doing nothing. Um, you're going to see over time that things will get easier and things will probably start feeling a little bit better, like your mobility might start getting better, your cardiovascular health might start getting better, your pain might decrease in some areas, but... A little bit of something every single day is definitely better than doing nothing. Tip number two is listen to your body. If you are overly fatigued, if you are super sore in areas, like maybe you just got a good workout the next day and you're just really feeling it and you feel like I should probably just rest today, then rest today. Listen to your body and trust your body because I do know that overexerting yourself physically can take you out for days. 
Number three is jumping on a rebounder or going for some kind of brisk walk. Anything to kind of get your heart rate going and get your lungs moving and your lymphatic system flowing. I would definitely recommend like those two forms of cardio over something like HIT or anything super intense. Tip number four, if you do enjoy lifting weights like I do, then I would recommend doing lighter weights and higher reps as opposed to heavier weights with lower reps just in the beginning like as you are waiting to explant because when you do put your body physically under a lot of stress it does do a lot to your body physiologically and you are going to end up being more sore and recovery is going to take longer so i would suggest and recommend doing like six exercises per body part doing three sets of each exercise and doing about 15 reps of each exercise. Tip number five is I would stay away from doing any kind of chest building exercises because chances are, especially if you have breast implants under your muscles, you're going to be building more muscle and that's just going to be more tissue for your surgeon to have to cut through. So just while you're waiting to explant, I would avoid any kind of chest building exercises, but definitely after you explant, you can start doing chest, but I would even hold off from doing chest isolating exercises until you're about to three to four months post explant. Tip number six is try to fit in about 30 minutes of exercise every single day. If you have to break it up into two sessions, like 15 minutes of something during the morning before work and maybe 15 minutes after work, if you have to break up that 30 minute session, that's totally fine. But try to fit in 15 minutes of weightlifting or cardio or walking, something like that every single day. Because at the end of the day and at the end of the week and by the time you do have your explant surgery, those little 30 minute chunks are gonna add up and compound over time and you will be stronger and healthier. Tip number seven is before you do work out, do a little bit of a warm up to get things moving, get your muscles all warmed up, get your joints all warmed up. And then I would also suggest some kind of cool down or stretching after you um, lift weights or do any kind of cardio, especially if you have any kind of joint pain or muscle stiffness that you are dealing with. Tip number eight is to stay hydrated and drink your minerals. I know a lot of women love those alkaline machines and the Berkey machines and everything like that. Um, I have a Berkey machine and I add minerals back into it because I'm just not sure how many minerals it does take out of it. And when we are low on minerals, it can show up as other health symptoms. Staying hydrated, but also adding minerals to your filtered water will help you and your cellular health. And I'll share what I use in my water down below. Tip number nine is to have a nighttime routine and to make sure that you are sleeping enough because rest and recovery is so important, especially if you have breast implant illness and especially if you are starting to exercise a little bit more now. Your muscles build on rest days, your body detoxes and rebuilds on rest days. So the days that you are working out and especially lifting weights, those are the days that you're breaking down your muscles, but on your rest days and especially during those sleep hours, that's when your body's gonna do a lot of repairing, rebuilding and cleansing. So do make sure that you do prioritize also getting in that rest for recovery. Tip number 10 is to be compassionate with yourself and be gentle with your body. And I know when you're going through breast implant illness, it might feel like your body is not on your side and your body hates you and your body's falling apart. But I promise you, your body is on your side. Your body is doing everything that she can right now to heal you and cleanse you the best that she can under these circumstances of having the toxic breast implants in you. So on days where you're feeling like maybe you're not doing enough or you've had a setback or you're feeling discouraged or frustrated because you want to be doing more, compassion is going to get you so far. And just sitting back and telling yourself, like, I am doing the best that I can. And if, you know, only 15 minutes of exercising or stretching is all that I can do today, that's like the most of my capacity, then I'm doing okay. 
And lastly, tip number 11, if you are looking to go through a program with a structure and a routine, something that you can follow week by week, consider signing up to my program, The Size Happy Method. It is my fitness program. It's six weeks long. It is a mind and body program. It's not just about working out eating good and supplements. Inside the program, I talk a lot about body image, improving your confidence. There are visualizations in there, a whole EFT uh, series to help you gain more confidence and improve your body image, especially while you're waiting to explant. I feel like we should kind of be getting ahead of ourselves before we explant. Um, there's a ton of videos and guides in there to help with your mindset and limiting beliefs and getting your mind into a really positive, loving, empowering place. So if you're looking to follow something, I poured my heart and soul into that program. I will put it down below in the description area and I would love to help you get in shape and increase your confidence. And before you go, if content like this really interests you, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. And if you need any further support or guidance in regards to exercising or eating right or what you can do in regards to your specific situation, let me know down below in the comments and I will get right back to you. And I hope you have an amazing day. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.